Hey everybody, and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and generate our board uh, using one of our layouts. Um, so to do this, let's go ahead and turn off our grid since we don't need that. We're going to create an empty game object, which is going to be our playmat, or board in this case. And then we're going to center this at 0, 0, 0. In the scripts folder, we're going to go ahead and create two scripts the playmat and then the layout script. The layout script is going to be uh, what generates our playmat or the uh, layout for the cards in the playmat. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. In the layout, we're going to take out the mono behavior. Delete the stuff. Um, this is going to use system.collections.generic. And we're going to have a list in here of string called layout names. And this is going to be the names of our layout. In playmat, we're going to have. Uh, we're going to make a layout in here. Layout, layout, or layout, layout, public layout. Okay, and this class is going to use an attribute which is called system.serializable which just allows Unity to look into the class. Uh, let's go ahead and drag the playmat onto this. You see that we have layout in here and we can give names. Um, so in our prefabs we have the skeleton as one of our layouts. So let's put that in. Um, so how this is going to work, we're going to go ahead and return a game object uh, from get layout from index. Just going to take an integer, which is the index that we want to return. And we're going to go ahead and make a game object resource equals resources dot load. And this is going to be the path to our uh, resource, which is skeleton in this case. So prefabs slash plus our layout name. Layout names sub index. And this is all as a game object. Okay. And then we're going to take this resource and create a new game object out of it. And Instantiate. Okay, uh, resource vector three dot zero quaternion dot identity as a game object, and then we're just going to go ahead and return. Um, so we're going to include a couple other uh, methods to help us get layouts. Uh, this will be get random layout and this will just return get layout from index with a random range between zero and layout names dot count. And then we'll have one more which is at layout from name 
string s. And this will just return get layout from index layout names dot index of s. Okay. So these will now return our uh, layouts. And then we want to do one more thing in here. And this is going to be collecting a list of uh, slots to place cards. So before we return the layout, we want to go ahead and uh, find our slots. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and loop through our list. Uh, slot in and so the way we set it up is that in our skeleton each child has a slot uh, class on it so we can say the slot class in the get component in, in children slot and then we can just add this to the list add slot Okay, and then in our playmat, we have our layout, and then in our start, we want to do something. Uh, we're going to make two functions void create layout, and then void create cards. from layout. Okay, and then we're going to call create layout. And then we're going to call create cards from layout. So layout is going to return a game object and we want to get that game object, which is our board. And so we can say board equals our layout dot get random layout for now. Okay. And then in our cards we want to uh, create all of our cards and place them in the slots. So to create our cards we're going to need a prefab for our cards. So we're going to make a game object for our card prefab. And then we're going to go ahead and create our card prefab. So if you go to models and drag the model into the scene, double click it, we're going to need a graphic. So we take blue, put it on, and now we can prefab this. Let's name this our card. Drop it in. Mm -hmm.